Okay, so my author was Patrick McCabe, and he wrote The Butcher Boy, which um, I titled my talk, Making Ends Meet, because I think you can figure out why. Um, so this overall book, um, the main character, Frankie, he's a psychopath, and it's told completely from his point of view from the time when he's 12 years old. So you kind of go on this journey with him and slowly find out throughout the book that he's a psychopath as you start committing really violent and weird acts. But it's kind of, it's from his point of view, so everything he does is meant to seem completely normal because he thinks <coughs> what he does is normal. So throughout the book, you kind of start to like decipher that he's a psychopath when he starts killing animals and doing really weird things. Um, the language of this book, it's um, a stream of conscience the whole time, and it starts off at the level of a 12-year-old's thoughts, and throughout the book, as he grows up, like the thoughts become more intellectual, and it starts to make more sense once he um, understands more of reality of what goes on around him. And there's limited to no punctuation, so it's kind of just like rambling on the book. And um, one thing that it brings up is upbringing is really important. His father is an alcoholic and abuses him and his mother throughout his earlier parts of his life. And his mo discharges his mother to have suicidal tendencies throughout the entire novel, which she eventually does kill herself. And, um, but before she kills herself, she's sent off to the mental hospital and he's left alone with his abusive father. And, um, they live in a small town, so there's a lot of gossipers around. And, um, so there's a lot of people gossiping about him and his family. It's a small town, and everyone knows each other. And so um, when she goes off, it's really hard for him because he'll walk into stores, and everyone will, like, stop and whisper and, like, look at him and be like, oh, like, his mother was sent off. Like, this family's, like, indecent and... Um, like wouldn't let other like boys talk to him or anything like they didn't want their kids to play with him or anything but um friendship was really important to him he had one best friend named joe and their relationship can kind of be compared to huck finn and tom sawyer like they would go around and they'd play jokes on people and just get into mischievous acts but um to frankie friendship was really important it was a lifetime thing like he would do anything for his best friend but um, Joe, he was more like a typical 12-year-old, just kind of there to have fun. It wasn't like a big commitment or anything. And this friendship ends up being one of his downfalls. Him and his best friend Joe, they decide to play a prank on a fellow classmate of theirs, and they take his prized comic book collection. And this leads, this is like his first like criminal act stealing this. And his mother, Mrs. Nugent, comes to his house before his mother is shipped off to the mental <coughs> hospital and yells at his mother and calls them a pig family because there's like, because her, his father's always at the bars and drinking and that basically just calls him the pig family, which really sticks with him. And so then his mother gets sent off to the mental hospital and um, he vows to have revenge on the Nugent family. And so, um, basically, they, like, commit more acts, and they go into her house, and they destroy her property, and leave, like, pig remains and stuff, like, in her house, and he actually butchers a pig and writes pig with the guts on the wall, and this is, like, when you start really figuring out that he's crazy, and this is about... I don't know, he's probably only like 15 when this happens. It's only been like a couple years. And when this happens, he is sent off to a priesthood for like a couple years. And, but that doesn't really work out. And he's molested at the priesthood. And so a lot of bad things are happening to him. So you kind of want to feel bad for him, but you realize he's a psychopath and that he kind of, Kind of like Alex in Clockwork Orange, you kind of just feel like he deserves everything that comes to him, but you also feel bad for him at the same time. And so, the other acts that 
but um, he comes back from the priesthood and expects to have his friend Joe by his side, but Joe has befriended Philip Nugent, the son that he swore to vow revenge on, and he ends up taking his anger out um, on his mother, and um, he ends up getting a job at a butcher shop, and even the main butcher thinks this kid's a little strange because of he doesn't mind going to kill the pigs and do anything like that. Like he'll kill all of the animals for the butcher place and he doesn't have any issues with it that most teenage boys would probably not want to do. And so he eventually ends up taking the butcher's shotgun and then killing Mrs. Nugent. And then he chops up her body into a bunch of pieces and writes the pig, like pig again, like out of her blood, like on the walls, and then he ends up running away from the police, like trying to like escape from society, and they end up catching him, and he goes off to jail, and that's when the book ends. Like basically, just the main themes of this book, just it talks about psychopathy a lot, and it just talks about, it really makes it obvious, like how fine a line there is between psychopaths and normal people because really in the beginning of the book until he starts committing these random acts you don't know really that he's a psychopath he seems like a normal 12 year old boy and it's from his point of view so everything he does he makes it seem so normal which it's not but you kind of have to decipher that for yourself and it's really interesting though like it, it kind of by it's a really satirical novel like it's funny <coughs> like they make like really funny comments about some of this stuff so it, it does parallel with Clockwork Orange a lot like he kind of covers up the disturbing aspects of the book by the language that's used and like how he comments and treats everything so it's not as hard to read as it sounds but it was pretty good